The plasma membrane is a flexible membrane that surrounds all cells, forming a barrier between the intracellular fluid inside the cell and the extracellular fluid outside the cell. The main structural framework of the plasma membrane is the lipid bilayer, a thin membrane made of two layers of phospholipid molecules. Phospholipid molecules are said to be amphipathic because they have dual polarity. They are made up of a polar phosphate containing head and two nonpolar fatty acid tails. The polar head is hydrophilic, meaning it is attracted to water, and the nonpolar tails are hydrophobic, meaning they repel water. When they are exposed to water, Phospholipid molecules arrange themselves into an enclosed double-layered sheet, with the hydrophilic heads facing the water-rich environment and the hydrophobic tails facing each other in the center. The plasma membrane is not a fixed rigid structure. Instead, it is in a continuous state of movement because the lipid molecules are free to sway, rotate, and move position laterally within the bilayer. This gives it fluidity. The fluidity of the plasma membrane is dependent on two factors, the composition of lipids in the bilayer and the amount of cholesterol present. Phospholipids can be made from saturated or unsaturated fatty acids. Phospholipids with straight, saturated fatty acid tails align more closely and so reduce fluidity. Those containing unsaturated fatty acids are prevented from moving too closely together by the kink formed by the double carbon bond and so increase fluidity. Cholesterol molecules are embedded within the lipid bilayer and provide structural stability. When temperatures are high, the cholesterol holds the phospholipids together, preventing the membrane from becoming too fluid. And when temperatures are low, the cholesterol prevents them packing too closely together, retaining fluidity. The fluidity of the membrane is vital for providing structural support to the cell and permitting movement. Membrane fluidity also allows the insertion of membrane proteins within the lipid bilayer. Membrane proteins can be classed as peripheral or integral. Peripheral proteins sit on the inner or outer surface of the plasma membrane attached to the polar heads of the phospholipids. Most are glycoproteins with their carbohydrate portions forming a sugary outer coat called the glycocalyx, which functions in cell recognition and adhesion. Integral proteins span the whole plasma membrane and are firmly anchored between the fatty acid tails. They are key to another property of the plasma membrane, its permeability. The plasma membrane allows certain substances to pass more readily than others into and out of the cell. Small molecules, such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, are able to passively diffuse across the plasma membrane unaided because they have no charge. Ions and large uncharged polar molecules, such as glucose, sodium, and potassium ions, are unable to cross the membrane as they have a charge or are too large. The transport of these molecules is facilitated by integral proteins such as selective ion channel proteins, carrier proteins, and receptor proteins, which can be passive or active, depending on whether they require cellular energy. This selective permeability allows the plasma membrane to regulate what enters and exits the cell. A structural model, known as the fluid mosaic model, is used to describe the plasma membrane. According to this model, 
The constantly moving fluid lipid bilayer contains many embedded membrane proteins dispersed in a mosaic arrangement.